I know that virtue to be in you, Brutus, as well as I do know your outward favour. Well, honour is the subject of my story. I cannot tell what you and other men think of this life. But for my single self, I had as lief not be as lived to be in all such a thing as I myself. I was born free of Caesar, so were you. We have both fed as well, and we can both endure the winter's cold as well as he. For once, upon a raw and gusty day, the troubled Tiber chafing with her shores and Caesar said to me, Darest thou, Cassius, now leap in with me into this angry flood and swim to yonder point? Upon the word, accoutred as I was, I plunged in and bade him follow. So indeed he did. The torrent roared, and we did buffeted it with lusty sinew, throwing it aside and stemming it with hearts of controversy. But ere we could arrive the point proposed, Caesar cried, Help me, Cassius, or I sink. I, as Aeneas, our great ancestor, did from the flames of Troy upon his shoulder, the old Anchises bear. So from the waves of Tiber did I, the tired Caesar. And this man is now become a god, and Cassius is a wretched creature and must bend his body, if Caesar carelessly but nod on him. He had a fever when he was in Spain, and the fit was on him. I didn't mark how he did shake. It's true, this god did shake. His coward lips did from their colour fly, and that same eye whose bend of all the world did lose its lustre. I did hear him groan, ay, and that tongue of his, which bade the Romans mark him and write his speeches in their book. Alas, it cried, give me some drink, Titinius. As a sick girl, he God that doth amaze me, a man of such a feeble temper, should so get the start of the majestic world, and bear the palm alone. Why, man, he doth bestride the narrow world like a colossus. And we petty men walk under these huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. Men at some time are masters of their fates. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar. What should be in that Caesar? Why should that name be sounded more than yours? Write them together. Yours is as fair a name. Sound them. It doth become the mouth as well. Weigh them. It is as heavy. Conjure with them. Brutus will start a spirit as soon as Caesar. 
Now, in the name of all the gods at once, upon what meat doth the Tsar Caesar feed that he has grown so great? Age? Thou art shamed. Rome? Thou hast lost the breed of noble bloods. When went there by an age since the great flood? But it was famed with more than with one man. When could they say till now that talked of Rome, that her wide walls encompassed but one man? Now is it Rome indeed, and room enough, when there is in it but one only man. Oh, you and I have heard our father say there was a Brutus once, that would have brooked the eternal devil to keep his stake in Rome as easily as a king.